everybody. Welcome back to episode 107 on this Thursday night, the day after your birthday. That's true. We have a new stand for our iPad, and it's kind of, it's great. We're, we're a little close. <laughs> it's great, but I feel like, I feel like we're very close. And I also am not sure I have it set up right. Every time we change something. I know. There's this whole ripple effect. It is, even though we've done it over 100 times. Yeah. Uh, it's 100 still, times. I know, it's kind of crazy. Uh, I hope everybody's having a good night. We actually just had, um, when we were eating dinner, a weather alert that it was going to be like um, a severe storm watch. Yeah. And nothing. And then nothing happened. Mm -mm. Well, I didn't think anything would materialize since it, it, we saw it at like 7.30 and it expired at like 8. Yeah. Although so. one of my favorite things is I saw a rainbow, a rainbow out the back. So um, it did, must have rained a little bit and then the sun came out. So Reminds me of that Rolling Stones song. What is that? Like a rainbow. Oh, like a rainbow. I don't yeah. think I know that. Oh, it was a big hit. <laughs> it's early, early Rolling Stones. We should have brought um, the, the pie out and had some pie. <laughs> we should. We should have, but we could get some beer. So beer and pie don't go together. Yeah, um, unless uh, sometimes they do. What is the one kind of, could you have like a Guinness with like a sweet Maybe? combo? I think that I've seen that before. I, I don't think I would, but um, yeah. we didn't get, you didn't buy me Guinness for my birthday. I didn't. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'll get you some this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shame. Um, okay. Although since I went with you, I guess, I guess I could have picked it up, but I forgot. I know. I totally did too. I do not like Guinness. Um, it's I do. too um, well. It's too coffee. It's too um, dark for me and too rich, um, and but it kind of has a bitter taste. But it is not um, all that high in calories, though. It's no. really not. Mm -mm. It's it's probably less. See than what a I should do regular is beers. Um, keep Fewer? trying it Fewer. every time you have it, and just keep on taking a sip from time to time, and then it could be like my coffee thing where I didn't like coffee, now I love it. You're assuming I would share <laughs> Guinness. Yeah, yeah, let me just take a sip. Uh, I didn't break out my birthday guitar. Did not. I did yesterday, actually, but not today. I and thanks gonna... for all the um, happy birthday wishes for David. Yeah, yeah. It was funny because um, he got messages from people like, hope you had a great, you know, had fun. Yeah. And like had. Well, no, it was during the day. Is hope you're doing something fun. And I'm kind of like, well... Yeah, still, you, yeah. still uh, not a, a lot going on. Well, yeah, I mean, but uh, people, I guess, could do funner, fun things at home. Just, That's we, true. We're boring, yeah. and we don't do fun things. And we had to work yesterday. So. We had to work, and work has been very busy, and um, so it was a lot Although, of Although, um, I like to take my birthday off. You took my birthday off with me, which was... Yeah, fun. how come I didn't take my birthday? How come you didn't take my birthday How off? come you didn't take off your birthday first, and then I would have <laughs> taken it off with you? <laughs> I didn't really have the time. I was busy. Plus, we're going to... I mean, we're going to... Not that it's a vacation moving, <laughs> taking off days, but um, we'll be taking off a few days. Um, I yeah. suppose, if we have to. Yeah. Uh, what's this? It's a birthday card. Who's it from? Garland and Claire Jeffries. Our good friends, Garland Jeffries, who's a great musician, songwriter from New York City. Well, I've followed Has for, so many albums. I've followed him for like 40 years. And we've talked about before the fact that he, you know, is a... He, he's a uh, close personal friend. Well, he's a, a friend. <laughs> we know. We've met him in person and talked and... But he knows who we, they know who we are. They know who we are, but they sent me, I won't open it up. Since there's a personal message to me, it does say happy birthday, but um, they sent us, uh, they sent me a birthday card. That was very Which is nice so of nice. them. So I sent them a message on one of your social media platforms <laughs> to thank them. I actually got it last week, but I didn't want to mention it yesterday because I hadn't had it, or uh, Tuesday, because I hadn't had a chance to thank them and I thought that would be tacky to talk about it without having actually communicated right. with them first so I sent them a message and uh, then I feel like it's okay but that was very nice we've so been, nice we've known uh, I mean I followed his music for 40 years but but we've actually known him for like in real life for like the last 10 years yes. because he came out with an album in 2011 I think it might have been late 2010 early 2011 and that's when I sort of connected with him through social media. 
than we saw him play here in Chicago, first as an outdoor festival. I was like going to say that was festival. like an old town, yeah. And you were the one who said, because afterwards, you know, and they're t taking the equipment down off the stage, he was kind of standing around and talking to people, and you were the one who said, go talk to him. So we did. <laughs> and from that point on, we've sort of been friends. We've seen him every time he's mm -hmm. come to Chicago since then. We missed once. Uh, before that, he had come to Chicago before that and played at Fitzgerald's, if I'm not mistaken, because we were talking to him that yeah, night. Yeah. Because we lived at the time, we lived like a block away we could from walk Fitzgerald's, there. Mm -hmm. and we said, "Oh, next time you play there, he can, you know, we'll come put over you and up. Have dinner." But he pointed out that it was a little bit small of a venue for him because he's pretty well known and all that. Um, but yeah, that was kind of fun. And then, unrelated to all of this. There is a, a, a guy from Canada named Eric Alper who's kind of a PR guy, really. I don't know. But he's, he's on every social media platform. Everybody loves him because he's uh, not a jerk. He's very nice to people. And he'll always post things like on either Facebook or Twitter or whatever. It'll be like, you know, what's a song about, you know, what's your favorite song that mentions uh, a geographical location? Or what's your favorite this, that, or and. So the other day, it was probably a week ago, he said, on Facebook, he said, I think it was Facebook, I don't recall. He said, um, who's the most famous person you've like met in real life? And in reality, that's, I mean, I've seen other famous people, but like really actually meeting someone. Right. So I mentioned him, uh, Garland, and that he's just a really lovely person. And there were like 60 or more people who liked the comment. He, Garland himself, actually said thanks, you know. And same people who liked my comment, liked his comment. And then multiple, like about a dozen additional comments saying, yeah, I met him here. He's really great. He's really wonderful. I met him at this place and that place. So, I mean, just a, a, just a great know. person. Just a great person. And obviously his wife, Claire, is also really great. Yeah. And we, um, when one time we saw them at City Winery in Chicago, that's true. She was standing right when you first walked that's in, right. that's um, right. and everything. And she saw us like walk up like the courtyard kind of thing, and we opened the door, and she was like, "Hello!" and came over right. and gave us a great big hug and everything. And it was just like, "All well, right," because <laughs> we had been in communication before then through emails, mm -hmm. and, you know, and we'd seen him several times. And she's his manager, so when we've seen him, we saw him at. Old Town School of Folk mm -hmm. Music, which is where we took guitar lessons. Um, it, she was there, you know, so... Yeah, because they sell merchandise and things like that uh, outside of the um, show. So yeah. just so super nice people, cool. like the nicest people. Yeah. And, and I always have to remember um, a vivid memory I have when we got to see his final concert in New York City, when other performers, like famous performers, came to like play with them and everything but he and Claire were like off in the wings kind of thing but where David and I were sitting I could see them and she just like had her arms around I'm like gonna get emotional about it <laughs> <laughs> it was a pretty wild show yeah but it was just like super sweet because I mean that was like the end of like a huge yeah, career yeah I and mean, he's been making music since I know I got so well for because it that. was a big deal <laughs> and that farewell concert included Laura I mean we've talked about it before mm -hmm. but Laurie Anderson was there, Chuck Prophet, Vernon Reed from Living Color, one of my yep. absolute favorite. Also, by the way, I mean, we've never met him, but also just a, a great person, really a cool person, really nice, very smart. And, and we had great seats that time, so I mean, we were like super right. close to the stage. So. Ivan Julian was at that show. I'm not going to remember all the people, but... Um, Amazing. And also their daughter, Savannah, who's mm -hmm. also an artist, Savannah Jeffries, was there too. Who's like the same age as our oldest daughter, so um, we have right. that in common as well. Right. Yeah. It was. It was really remarkable. Um, but anyway, that was a, a kind of a, a, an aside. An aside. <laughs> but it was very nice to hear from them, and I was. It was really nice to see it, all these people. I know. Commenting about what a great person he is because he is a great person. Which I always like when you see something like that. That you do have such a huge fan base that they. You know, but that we're friends with them. Out of all the people, you know, like that's that's so special. You know, that you get that kind yeah. of like um, camaraderie um, kind of thing. So, well, and I do amazing. think. I mean, you know, people always say when it comes to music, well, you know, you have to separate the art from the artist, and because the, there's obviously controversial people who maybe aren't the nicest people in the True. world of music. 
and I get it, I understand it, but it is a kind of a neat thing when you come across someone who's like both really, really talented, but also like a genuinely good person. I mean, we've talked about Roseanne Cash in mm -hmm. the past. She certainly is that. Vernon Reed, um, one of our favorite artists, Raul Mallow is the singer for the lead singer for the Mavericks and writes a lot of their songs. You know, I mean, just, I mean, obviously we don't know those people in personally, same, but yeah. if you, you know, just follow the kind of things that they say Believe on in, social media, support, they're, yeah, they're always positive, mm -hmm. always, um, you know, embracing everybody and, and all that. So it's really And I cool. also think that during COVID, when all those artists were forced to be home for the first time, when many of them traveled so many months out of the year, getting to know their families and, you know, seeing where they live and things like that kind yeah. of made it like more of like a closer kind of thing. So I thought, I always thought that was nice. Um, I'm seeing if I can find uh, uh, pictures of that show uh, in New York because um, I commented on who all we saw there and now I won't be able to remember them. Um, I know, I can't uh, remember all of anyway, them. Anyway, go, yes. keep going, keep going. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I did something wrong. So I um, had lost my uh, I my iPods for my phone. Uh, and I've been earbuds. Uh, my earbuds. Is that what it is? My earbuds for my phone. I just got it for my birthday. Um, and I don't know. I got them for Christmas. Anywho, uh, I had for 24 hours. I didn't know where they were. James Maddock was there. Oh, James Maddock. And yeah. Willie Nile. And we saw James Maddock open for uh, Garland Jeffries another time. Sorry. Oh, no, that's just okay. Just trying to find, I have some pictures. Some pictures. From that show. I'm just trying to remember who but all was there. what I've learned is when I leave <laughs> them on my desk, either outside of the case, in the case, or whatever, um, they just cannot be left there because the cats will get at them. So that's what ended up happening. So was several times throughout the week, I would come back and there would be one missing because I didn't put it there. And I was like, then I'd open like, I'm in working in our daughter's bedroom, so I'd open up her closet because they can't obviously open it. Um, and sure enough, the other one was in there. Then I couldn't find the other one once. They had kicked it into the hall closet, like our linen closet. Open that, there it is. Then I'm like, okay, I learned my lesson. Do not like just leave them unattended. Put them back in the case. Put them back in the case. For sure knew they were in the case. And then I had dropped our son off at um, Macy's for a class that he has for his school. And came back and the whole thing was gone. And I was like, what the hell? And so I... <laughs> and then <laughs> I... Um... I thought we agreed. No, <laughs> no cursing. H-E dog. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so anyway, so they kicked it we'll off of the table. We'll have to do an alternate version where we just cursed. We just cursed. I that would be that. a little more realistic. I, yeah, I could totally do that. Um, <laughs> we, do, we do swear in IRL in real life. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I, I looked, looked under Claire's bed to make sure, like, did they kick it underneath here and everything? And then I had, like, a little file cabinet next to my desk, and they kicked it underneath there. So crisis averted. But I was like, for the longest time, I didn't want the, um, them because I knew that I would lose them. But I'm home, so I'm like, I can't like, you didn't, go anywhere. Let's clarify, you didn't want AirPods. Yes. Not, not that you didn't want cats. I wanted cats. You said, I didn't want them. I want to make sure people understand. <laughs> yes, definitely want the cats. Don't not the want, cats. No. Uh, so I just have to... It's like having kittens. I mean, it's like having well, they babies are. around because yeah. they get into everything oh. and they've got stuff in their mouth and you're like, what have you got in your mouth? And you're like trying to get it out. They um, grab everything. They turned on the air conditioner yeah. today. All of a sudden, I hear, um, it, was, it was like 50 degrees outside. Well, it may have been a little warmer there, but it wasn't air conditioner weather. And I could hear the noise from the other room. And I'm like, what the heck? What is going on? Because there's so what much the construction. the hockey sticks? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many. Only I didn't say fuck. <laughs> There are so many, um, okay, there's so much construction in our neighborhood that I thought, and also now we are in, you know, landscaping season and le leaf blowing season <laughs> yes. and all that. And so I thought, you know, it was something like that and that they were spooked. There was the window unit right next to where we are, which we turn off when we do this because yeah. it makes a lot of So they're very smart as well. 
Um, I don't know if that was so smart, though. <laughs> I don't think that was intentional. But yeah. they somehow jumped up. One of them got up on the top. Because the buttons, you know, are on the top. Mm -hmm. They're not in, on the front of the thing. Hard to explain. It is a uh, frigid air. There you go. Uh, air conditioner. Anyway, whatever. But um, so somehow they got up on the... I don't know whether they just reached up or tried to jump up on the part sticking out from the window. Turn on the air conditioner. But they get into everything. And if you know, um, you'll have to go back to like see, I think in, we got them in January, right? Yeah, because Claire was still, it was before she went back to So school. if you go back a ways on our feed, you can see the story of us getting the cat. So we have two of their sisters, Waffle and Gordon. Gordon is the darker one that has like darker, like brown and black they're, and everything. They're and both um, calc. Yes. Okay. And um, all of a sudden Gordon... Well, not all of a sudden, but like lately has just been really extra needy and um, <laughs> loves just being with you on and laying on you, you and everything. It's the cutest and thing ever. Licking, the, especially your hands, nonstop. We've had cats pretty much for 27, our whole marriage. We've had cats. Oh, yeah. You had ones before we met that obviously I adopted. And then we had, our, step, and then we had step, step cats. And step cats for a little bit, and then we had our own. <laughs> uh, none of them were lap cats. Like none of them would That's like sit true. on your lap at all. I mean, they would get near you. They would sit on the couch behind you. But no cats that we've ever had have just like crawled up on your lap. So we're really enjoying it right now and eating it up. So uh, I hope that <laughs> continues. We yeah, just need Waffle to get, that, to get on board because she hasn't done that yet. Yeah, she's very friendly and very affectionate. Just mm -hmm. doesn't really climb on you. Sometimes if you are sitting on the floor, she'll climb in your lap, and yes. then she then she really wants you to pet mm -hmm. and everything like that. But but uh, Gordon twice today jumped up, like jumped on. Well, she was trying to figure out how to get onto my desk chair so she could sit on my lap. Mm -hmm. So I helped her out. And then she curled up and and then another time um, she just came up sitting on the floor next to me and just making really loud noises. Yeah, she'll let you know. Demanding when she's, that yeah. I pick her up. And she sat on me for like, I don't know, a half an hour I probably. Know. So cute. I was kind of relieved when she finally got up because I was trying to do work. And <laughs> uh, as it happens, I was mostly reading. So as long as I could reach one hand out and scroll, mm -hmm. you know, uh, when I was but reading. But having a computer. cat wouldn't be, that's when you need like the um, baby. But it would have been, if I was actually in the midst of typing, it would have been, yeah, it, she would have been very upset. Yeah, for but, sure. Um, I had, and I did have to type a little bit, but I, I was like, you know, holding her and like with one hand. Yeah. So cute. Yeah. So we're very happy that, um. None I mean, of this has anything to do with my birthday, though. I know we kind of right? got. Off I feel like you're really not giving me uh, the appropriate amount of attention. The birthday attention yeah. that you yeah. require. It's Willie Nelson's birthday today. That's true. Did okay, I did mention? We, did we see how old he is? No. Okay, I'm gonna guess. Although, I'm gonna guess 84. <clears throat> he's yeah, he's up there. And but I did see somebody. Po I didn't actually watch the video, but I think he was on Letterman or one of those shows. And they posted it, and I want to say the year was 1982, and he was the same age then that I am now. Don't ask me to do the math, but at the time, I, I think that's true. Okay, so he's 88. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, However, Jeez. I was just Googling how old, how old is Willie, and William Shatner, Shatner from Star Trek is 90? Yeah, that's surprising. Well, I, when you think about it, it's not that surprising because that show was... That's crazy. The, the original Star Trek. I almost said Star Trek. I would Wars. never have guessed that in a million years. But it premiered in, what, in the 60s? So, that's I mean, true. That's 60 years ago. Yeah. Um, so and, there's a fun fact. And this. I also learned yesterday, so I could not have mentioned this before, that I share a uh, birthday with... There's this... 11-year-old girl in the UK. We will tag her. Nandy, I don't know how you pronounce her last name, but it is, it's spelled like Bushel, but I, somehow I want to say Bushel. I don't know why. Could be. She is a musician, and she's like a child prodigy. She, her, she became somewhat well-known because she's a drummer, but she plays other instruments too, but she's a drummer, and she did uh, a cover of um, a Foo Fighters song. 
I can't off the top of my head remember it, where she was playing, you know, the, the, the music that she had a recording of the song, but she was playing, and she's really, really good. So good. And so then she challenged um, uh, Dave Grohl, you know, he's not really, he's not the drummer for Foo Fighters, you know, but he was, the, he is I just a found, oh, she's got 800,000 followers on Instagram. She, she uh, you know, he was the drummer in Nirvana, and he's a very good drummer. But anyway, so she challenged him to like a, a contest, like a challenge. And so he then wrote a song about her and played drums. Actually, he played all the instruments. For her birthday. Song, for her birth- well, no, that was some time ago. I don't know oh, if okay. it was for her birthday, but it's on her Facebook page. And then, um, but she also plays, she plays guitar, she plays bass. I don't know if she plays keyboards. Um, and she's good, too. Like, so good. Like, that, she did a cover of, um, now I won't be able to think of this. It was a Pixies song. I don't even know the Pixies. They're uh, from... I want to say from Portland or something like that. Maybe. They're from the like the Pacific Northwest, kind of a post-punk uh, band. They're really great. Anyway, she did this song on a, um, a similar similar to my guitar, my newest guitar. It was like an acoustic, a Fender acoustic, but you could plug it in. Anyway, um, it was, it's shaped like a Stratocaster, but it's an acoustic. Anyway. So she plays the song, but basically what she does is she has this little mixing board kind of thing in front of her, and she plays the opening chords and then hits a button and it just keeps playing it back. I so love she that. can play the like the solos on it. And then it, uh, it comes off. Yeah, together. and then she yeah. looks at, and she starts out by singing this, this sort of high pitched like thing in the background, and then that's repeating, and then See, she plays the opening chords. It's not fair to be that talented so young. Yeah. So yesterday I just happened to discover that it was her birthday and she posted a little video on her Facebook and Twitter where she got a saxophone for her birthday. So that's going <laughs> to be... Which probably now she plays at like an expert level. Yeah, or that'll be like her that. next thing. But anyway, yeah. so I share... We'll definitely tag her. You'll have to check her out. With a child prodigy. I'm going to follow her right now. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, that's what's uh, pretty much been going on in our world, such as um, I thought it was Friday when I woke up today, so unfortunately <laughs> I gotta wait till tomorrow we have for a, it to be Friday. We have a friend who's a former neighbor, we used to live next door to her, she works for one of the public schools, and I saw that she posted on whatever it was, some social media, that uh, same thing, that she's like, there's another Thursday that I thought was a Friday, or something to that effect. It's, yeah, it's that going around. thing when that figured out what happens because you're just like, <laughs> yes. And then it's like, no. <laughs> uh, but we hope you guys have a good rest of the week and we will check in this weekend. Um, so have a good rest of the night. See you next time. Bye. Bye.